Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amber. So today's video for Foundation Friday, we are going to be going over somewhat of a new product. So we are going to go over the Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 30. If you guys haven't noticed here on my channel on Foundation Fridays, I've been trying to incorporate a lot of tinted moisturizer options for you guys. So they did send me this package via PR and they did send me three shades. Some of the shades are a little bit too warm for me, which I know they will. So I think I might just give one to my mom. She's definitely more tan than I am. I've been super into tinted moisturizers. Last week I tried the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop and I am obsessed. So I'm curious to see how this works. I'm not so sure if I've ever used NARS's tinted moisturizer. Like I said, it's not super brand new, but they did extend their shade range. So usually with tinted moisturizers, you're not gonna get that 40 to 50 shade range options that you would in a normal foundation. So in normal NARS foundations, the natural radiant long wear, radiant natural, whatever it's called. And the sheer glow, I wear either Barcelona when I'm pretty much at my lightest, but in the summertime when I do get more tan, I do tend to go more towards Syracuse. So I don't have anything on my skin right now. I just pretty much jumped out of the shower about a half hour ago. So I'm gonna be using two products from my BoxyCharm. So this is the Pharmacy Honey Grail Ultra Hydrating Face Oil. I'm obsessed with let me see if I can find it. The Pharmacy Daily Greens Oil Free Gel Moisturizer. I've been absolutely loving it. So definitely when it's a little bit more warmer out, I still want to moisturize, but I don't want a thick, heavy cream on my skin. I will alternate between that, but I have been feeling a little bit more dry and it's a little bit cooler out today. So I'm gonna go in with this ultra hydrating face oil just a little bit because it does look like a thick consistency. And it says you can work this oil into your hair to help tame flyaways. You can blend with foundation for an added glow as well. So definitely. So next I'll be trying this Pretty Filter Touch and Soul Icy Sherbet Primer. So this is a silicone free primer that smooths skin texture, gives you a silky finish to the skin, instantly cools down as you apply it and gives you a nice rich hydration feel to the skin. Right to the touch, you can instantly feel the cooling sensation and it feels like this has been in the refrigerator. So this is a 1.9 ounce product. It retails for 45 US dollars. And today, the day that I'm filming this, which is April 9th, I believe the Rouge coupon is kicking off and Sephora is about to kick off their VIB Beauty Insider sale as well. So definitely check that out. I'm sure there's many ways that you guys can save money. So it is up there in price. Now, medium 1.5, looking at it, Definitely has some warmth to it. They did say when you apply it, if you want more of a sheer application, really take that finger and spread it out on the skin. If you wanna build coverage, like I always say, take that product and press it over top of the areas that you want that coverage. All right, so taking a look at what we just applied right in this area right here. Looking up close, I still see my freckles, so it definitely does sheer down, and I use that pea size amount just for this side of the face. It definitely did even out the skin tone, but it didn't give you that coverage. So if you want coverage, you can build it, but if you're used to using another foundation that isn't considered a tinted moisturizer or a light coverage foundation, and you're used to the medium to full coverage, you might not like this product, it might be different, you might feel like you want more, then you're gonna keep going in and adding more and then waste a lot of the product. So just keep that in mind. And it looks like skin, I think that's the whole main thing, is feel like I don't have anything on, it's super lightweight, you guys can see how much coverage it looks like it would have. It completely is the opposite. I've never been a big fan of applying foundation or tinted moisturizer with my fingers. Just make sure your fingers are clean. But I don't know, lately I haven't been minding it. That product on the nose and just work it up to the forehead. Taking that excess product and applying it to my eyelids to get rid of any discoloration. All right, so now that I have everything applied, literally, I know it might seem long in the video or really short in the video, but it probably took me a good minute to just evenly apply that here on camera. I used two pea size, so those two pea sizes to do the whole face. And then the product that I put on the nose, I just distributed it up to, distributed it up to my forehead. Like I said, you can still see my freckles, but it did kind of tone that down and just even everything out. I definitely think a fresh face, if that's something you're going for, you would love this, something lightweight, something more refreshing. This might be a product that you would love. Oh, and the shade match is actually perfect. So everything blended down nicely. And it, like I said, it blended so nicely that you can't even see where it starts and where it stops. I didn't go the whole way down my neck. I did probably stop right here, but it blended down so well. So 
Definitely the 1.5 Cusco is what worked for me in this situation. So for cream contour, I'm gonna go in with my Match Stick and Truffle. I'm taking my Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Brush. I love to use this for cream contours. I'm just gonna go ahead in and blend that. All right, so now that I have that all done, I'm gonna go in with a powdered blush just to kind of help set everything. I got this back in Christmas, so it's Orgasm Blush and the Orgasm Highlighting Blush. So I do think my lighting kind of does wash out the color that's coming up on my skin. It's not like an intense, highly pigmented pink color. It definitely has some shimmer in it. You can see that glow that the blush did add. There's just not a lot of color. So I'm gonna go and try and find another blush, which is a little bit more pigment. So I'm actually gonna take my Hank and Henry Cream Blush. It's like a very hot pink. All right, so I think the camera's picking up just a little bit of that pink blush, but it's definitely more noticeable in my mirror for some reason. So I'm using this Nude One Lip Liner from KKW Beauty. All right, so I did apply false lashes because my lash extensions were a little bit sparse and not giving me enough. But I added, I think they're Miami lashes, so extra Miami. So they do look super full, but I do have lash extensions underneath. I just want to make that clear. Wearing everything so far without setting it, you guys can see I am starting to get shiny where I normally get shiny. And next I'm going to go in with some lip balms from NARS. I'm using a lot of NARS products, but it's fine. These came in a Christmas set. I was going through my makeup and I just put them to the side, so why not use them? So I'm going to be using this NARS Orgasm Lip Balm. So I am noticing I'm very shiny, so I'm not really licking it. So I'm going to take my Hourglass Veil translucent setting powder. Brush this over where I know I get super shiny. So you can definitely see how that powder definitely toned down that shininess. I definitely see myself wearing this if I was going to a pool party, going to the beach, want to put a little something on, maybe look cute for some vacation pictures. Everything blended well with my fingers. I didn't have to go in with a sponge or a brush to go over top to smooth everything out. Literally, it melted into the skin. It was like a, a moisturizer application where everything just melts down into the skin and gives you a beautiful, flawless application. All in all, I do think it is a higher price point for a tinted moisturizer, but it does have the benefits of keeping you hydrated, giving you a healthy glow. Also has the SP. SPF 30, but you can layer in your other SPFs if you want more protection. What I'm going to do right now is take a picture just to see with flash how that goes. Upload the photo that I took right here. And as I'm looking at the photo, no flashback. I did have some warmth in this color that I did, so I didn't have to worry about it being too light. I'm in love with this. I'm definitely going to add this to my summer, spring, summer must-haves. I definitely say I give this product a thumbs up as far as first impressions and how everything looks and it just gives you a beautiful glow so i hope you guys enjoyed today's foundation friday video if there's other products that you guys want me to try definitely comment below and if you do try this product definitely let me know how you guys liked it or if you have any questions but i will see you guys in the next video bye guys